The three years Jadna has been a major concern for people in the Gambia. Block TV deems it necessary to have an interview with the president of the Law Student Association. Thank you, Mohammed, for honoring our invitation. Uh, thank you also, madam, for coming around. The leaders of the coalition parties have been to meet the president to extend his mandate to five years. What do you have to say to that? Is it uh, constitutional for them to extend his mandate to five? Um, thank you so much, madam. Uh, that question that you just asked mm -hmm. has some um, uh, legal implication and political implication as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, one portion of it which I want to make clear is that politics doesn't have a place when it comes to legal implication or what the constitution says. A group of political leaders or coalition or political parties cannot act on behalf of the Gambian people because as per section 1 of the 1997 Constitution of the Gambia, the sovereignty and the power of each authority voted in into office is subjected to the Gambian people. The coalition have not been constituted or voted into office by the Gambian people. So them going to the president to negotiate or to say whether they want to extend the five years mandate or they want to reduce it or they want to make a three years mandate uh, is not in line with the constitution and by legal implication is uh, unconstitutional. It is not constitutional. Exactly. Okay, the three years uh, people, they are still saying that they are going to uh, go ahead with the protests uh, come December. What do you have to say to that? Uh, if they do that, they will be breaching the 1997 Constitution of the Gambia. Of course, from Section 1 to Section 6 of the 1997 Constitution of the Gambia, mm -hmm. uh, provides that every individual in the Gambia must protect the Constitution, mm -hmm. the people in good will and good conscience. Mm -hmm. So if they go ahead and try to overthrow the Constitution, then they will be committing an offense called treason under mm -hmm. criminal law, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, one of the felonies. Uh, which I think if somebody commits it in the current political dispensation we have, we face the full force of the law. Mm -hmm. So uh, if they go ahead and protest, uh, it will be unlawful because I also believe that the IGP will not also want to breach the constitution and it's mandate under the constitution to grant them license to do so. So if they do that forcefully, uh, they will be committing the offense, which I re earlier referred to as treason, and which is going to be the violation of the goodwill of the people of the Gambia, the sovereignty of the Gambia people itself, and the territorial integrity of the Gambia. Do you think the police will give them the a permit to go ahead with the uh, protest? Uh, the Public Order Act, which has been under criticism for some time now, mm -hmm. uh, is the only law we have as per public uh, um, you know, atmosphere, uh, the political environment of mm -hmm. the Gambia. So uh, each individual who wants to engage in public adverts or coming out public, demonstrating, protesting, have to go in line with Section 9 of this Public Order Act. Mm -hmm. And the IGP is the custodian of this law. And the IGP is one of the uh, individual that has to protect the constitution uh, in, in line with section 4. Mm -hmm. So if he is going to be breaching the constitution, then he will give them the license. But if, he's, if he is not ready to breach the constitution, I believe uh, the license will not be granted. Let's just hope the best for the country. Thank you for honoring our invitation. Uh, thank you so much, madam, for coming around.